Hello, and welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today, we're going to learn the difference between some confusing vocabulary, so let's get started. Today, we're looking at these two words, power and powers. Sometimes the word power is not countable. We cannot say a power or two powers. And sometimes it is. Sometimes we say one power and two powers. So let's take a closer look. If you talk about a country, it's countable. The United States is a superpower. China is a superpower. It means the country has a lot of power. They have a big military. We call them a superpower. In this case, it's countable. What about China? Is China a superpower? That's right, China is a superpower too. So talking about these two countries, we can say they're both superpowers. Power is a countable noun in this case. They are both superpowers. So talking about the United States and China, are they both superpowers? That's right, they're both superpowers. Also, if I talk about Superman, Superman has more than one power. He has more than one superpower. One superpower is that he can fly. And another one is that he has x-ray vision. That's another superpower. So he has more than one power. It's countable in this case. Superman has more than one superpower. He has superpowers. Let's practice. Does Superman have more than one superpower? That's right. Superman has more than one superpower. Does he have multiple superpowers? That's right. He has multiple superpowers. He has more than one, and it's countable. So we say superpowers in this case. But what if I talk about the government? The government has a lot of power. Usually in this case, we don't say powers. We just say the government has a lot of power or the president has a lot of power. It's normally not countable in this case. Let's practice. Does the president have a lot of power? That's right, the president has a lot of power. Or if I talk about electricity, we don't have any power. That means we don't have any electricity. Or I can say we have power. We have electricity. We don't say powers in this case, talking about electricity. Let's practice. Do they have power? That's right, they have power. They have electricity. Do they have power? That's right, they don't have power. They don't have electricity. Don't say powers in this case. It's not countable. Now, what about if we talk about an engine, a motor in a car? We say horsepower. In this case, do we say horsepower or horsepowers? Well, keep watching to find out. Today, we're going to learn to avoid some important mistakes. So let's get started. First, let's watch this clip. Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! I am shooting your favorite show. The show is called How to Pronounce Brand Names Correctly. And today, I'm going to show you the most exclusive cars from the most exclusive brands in the world. And we're going to learn how to pronounce them. Let's do it! That's right. Today, we're going to learn how to pronounce cars correctly. And first, this is not correct. Like Over a million stuff. dollars. It's all Bomb dangerous. Austin <laughs> Martin. Funky. Zagata. What? Nice. It's not pronounced Aston Martin Zagata. It's pronounced Aston Martin Zagato. Let's talk about Aston Martin. We have two pronunciations. We cannot pronounce it with a fast D. We cannot say Aston Martin. We have to say Aston Martin with a T. Or we have another way to do it. We can take the T and make it a stop T. Mart. Stop the air. Mart mm, and fall to the N. Mart mm. This is the most common way to pronounce it in America. Aston Martin. Not Aston Martin. Aston Martin. Example This is an Aston Martin. It's a luxury car. 
it's an expensive luxury car. Let's practice. Is this an Aston Martin? That's right, this is an Aston Martin. Is it a luxury car? That's right, it's a luxury car. This is also not correct. Is a particular Dodge. It has 860 horsepower. The brand name is Dodge. SRT. I cannot say it has 860 horsepower. The word horsepower is not countable. I cannot put an S on it. I cannot say horsepower. It's just horsepower. You're talking about how powerful the engine is when you use horsepower. Remember, no S, no horsepower. Example, this is a normal engine. A normal engine has about 200 horsepower. Not horsepower, just horsepower. 200, 300, 400 horsepower. Don't put the S there. So this is an average engine, a normal engine, and it has 200 horsepower. This is also not correct. But Italians would say Maserati. So it's a little more like Italian kind of thing, but again, in American, it's Maserati. It is not pronounced Maserati in America. We say Maserati. So the first syllable is more open, not ma, but ma. Use the open sound ah like hot and stop. Ma. Maserati. And the T is not pronounced like t t t. It's pronounced d d d, a fast d. Maserati. Not Maserati, but Maserati. Use the fast d. This is a Maserati. And it's a sports car. Let's practice. Is this a Maserati? That's right. This is a Maserati. Is it a sports car? That's right, it's a sports car. This is also not correct. You can have like even a Toyota Prius. It's not pronounced Prius, Prius, Toyota Prius. It's pronounced Toyota Prius. Use the short uh sound like cup and up. Us, us. Not os, but us. Relax. Us. Prius. We have two vowels. We have the E sound like green beans, plus the short uh sound like cup and up. When we link these two vowels, we hear Y yeah, yeah, in the middle. Pri yeah, Prius. This is a Toyota Prius. And it's a hybrid. Let's practice. Is this a Toyota Prius? That's right, this is a Toyota Prius. Is it a hybrid? That's right, it's a hybrid. And we don't say this either. This is a Cobra car. This is a Datsun car. We don't say a Cobra car or a Datsun car. We don't say the word car. We just say a Cobra or a Datsun. So the car on top, that's a Cobra. And the car on the bottom, that's a Datsun. They don't make Datsuns anymore. They call them Nissans now. But they used to be called Datsuns. I don't want a Datsun. That's an old car. I prefer a Cobra. It's a nicer car. Let's practice. Do you prefer a Cobra or a Datsun? That's right, I prefer a Cobra. Is a Datsun an old car? That's right, a Datsun is an old car. But remember, don't say a Datsun car and don't say a Cobra car. This is also not correct. How does it feel? Very soft. It's so soft, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's compared even like... When I'm driving in a car, I don't say it feels soft. Maybe the seat feels soft, but not when you drive. When you talk about how a car rides, we say it's a smooth ride. We don't say it feels soft. Not to talk about how a car drives. We say it's a smooth ride. The car has a smooth ride. Let's practice. What do you think? Do you think this car has a smooth ride? That's right. This car has a smooth ride. This is also not correct. Marishka, the expert. Marishka is how they call me in Russia. This is like a nice way to say Marina. I cannot say Marishka is how they call me in Russia. I cannot say how they call me. I have to use a different word. I have to say what. What they call me. It's correct to say Marishka is what they call me in Russia, not how. When we use the verb call in this way, we cannot use how. We have to use what. So I can say Marishka is what they call her in Russia. Let's practice. What do they call her in Russia? That's right, Marishka is what they call her in Russia. Thank you for watching, and keep watching to learn more great vocabulary about cars.
Look at these wheels. The center of the wheel is called the hub. This is a hub. The hub is the center of the wheel. And that's why some companies call their headquarters the hub. Example, Delta Airlines hub is in Atlanta, Georgia. It's their headquarters, it's their hub. And also when we look at the wheel, the center is the hub, but this cover, this wheel cover is called a hubcap. So it has two names. You can call it a hubcap or a wheel cover. It's called a hubcap because it covers the hub, the center of the wheel. These are old hubcaps. Let's take a closer look at this Corvette. This is called a bumper. This car has a chrome bumper. That's the material, chrome. The car has a chrome bumper. And this is the exhaust pipe. It's made of chrome also. Be careful, it's hot. The exhaust pipe is always hot. And what comes out of the exhaust pipe? We call it exhaust. Exhaust comes out of the exhaust pipe. This car comes in three sizes. The real size. And the car had a baby. The car had a baby and the car's baby had a baby. This is the car's grandchild. This Corvette's from the 70s. And let's talk about pronunciation. Corvette. The T is a stop T. The E is silent. Corvette. Corvette. Pronounce the V with voice. Corvette. This is a nice Corvette. Look at this Corvette. It has a big spoiler on the back. This is called a spoiler. It comes from the action spoil. Spoil. This is a spoiler. The action spoil means to ruin. And this spoils lift. It ruins lift. So your car doesn't fly away. This Corvette has a small bumper. A small chrome bumper. But this is a grill. It's a chrome grill. Just like you cook meat on the grill, this is also called a grill. Let's take a look at this engine. That's a nice clean engine. You can also say motor. So it's one thing, it has two names. You can call it an engine or you can call it a motor. This Corvette has a nice clean motor. We can see the motor in this car because this is open. But what is this? It's not a door, it's called a hood. That's right, this is the hood and the hood is open. So we can see the motor, we can see the engine. This is a little red Corvette, just like Prince said. Very nice haircut. I think it's probably more than a haircut too. Ah, this is one of my favorites, the uh, Corvette Lego basket, donated by Kiki Mountain Toys. This is really cool. Number 28, 177-05-24. Let's talk about the things in the car. This is a special mirror. This is called the rear view mirror. Pronunciation, rear meaning back and view. Rear view mirror. This is the rear view mirror. And we have more mirrors. These are your side mirrors. We have one side mirror on the right side and one on the left side. And these are called visors. Use the long I like ride and bike. Visor. I have one visor and two visors. And this car has no roof. It's a convertible. Pronunciation, converta, verta. Use a fast D. The T changes to a fast D. Verta, convertible. This is a convertible because it has no roof. And this 
is the dashboard. Pronunciation, use the short A like black cat and apple dash. This is the dashboard. This is an old dashboard because this is an old car. But it looks nice. And this is a compartment. Let's open the compartment. It's a glove compartment. Gloves. You put your gloves in here. That's why it's called a glove compartment or you can call it a glove box. What's in the glove compartment? Paperwork. Yeah, I keep paperwork in the glove compartment. I keep paperwork in the glove box. And this is a wheel, but it's a special wheel. It's a steering wheel. Steer is the action, meaning to control the car. You steer the car. This is a steering wheel. You can use the action, the verb steer. Steer to the right, steer to the left. Pronunciation, steer, like ear. Steering wheel. This is a steering wheel. And this car is not an automatic. It's a stick shift. That's right. You change gears with the stick shift. You can say this is a stick shift, or this is a standard, or this is a manual transmission. This is the stick shift. And what do you do with the stick shift? You change gears. Or you can say you shift gears. That's right. Shift is the action. But remember, before you shift gears, you need to step on the clutch. That's right. That pedal on the left, that's called the clutch. You step on the clutch and then you shift gears. Remember, we don't say shift the gears. No the, just shift gears. Step on the clutch and shift gears. Because it's not an automatic. It's a standard. This is the dashboard and this is the instrument panel. On the instrument panel, you have a lot of different gauges. Pronunciation, gauge. Use the hard g, -g and the long a, like say and pay. Gauge. Gauge, gauge. These are all gauges. This is the oil gauge, the temperature gauge, and this is the speedometer. This is the speedometer. It tells you how fast you're going in miles per hour, not kilometers. This is America. We use miles per hour. And in the center of the steering wheel, you have the horn. That's right. You push the horn. Oh, it works. The horn works. So what is the action? This is the horn and the action is honk. That's right. I honk the horn. In the past, I honked the horn on accident. So you push here and you honk the horn. When you honk the horn, usually it's because you're angry. So you honk at people. You honk at other drivers. If you're angry, you use the horn and you honk at other drivers. This is a special window. This is called the windshield. So you take two words, wind and shield. Together, wind shield. But you don't really hear the D because it's a stop D. Wind shield. You make the position of the D, but don't release D. Just wind shield. This is the windshield. These are your windshield wipers. Or for short, you can just say wipers. Turn on the wipers. It's raining. The action is wipe. They wipe, so they're called wipers. If it's raining, turn on the windshield wipers. And when we talk about mirrors, we don't say look at, normally look at, look at me, look at that. But for mirrors, we say look in, look in the mirror, look in the mirrors. Or for a car, you can say check, check the mirrors. Check the mirrors before you change lanes. Remember, we don't say change the lanes, it's just change lanes. So always check the mirrors before you change lanes. Hey, what color is this car? I think it's dark blue. Is it black or blue? I think it's dark blue, very dark blue. It sure is clean. Yep. And you, shiny. Did you wash it yourself? Nope. It's my first time in a car like this. Nice. 